Okay guys, Brent Hole, happy Wednesday. We've got some design videos today. Today we're talking about the Foursquare. And so I've got a new Foursquare that we found. This is not a project, this is not a client. This is just me studying how to make a Foursquare better. And a Foursquare is a traditional house, 1890s to 1920s or 30s, very simple design, often had arts and crafts elements. The interesting thing is this house had a lot of good details going for it. And if it could have just tweaked a few, it could have been really great. Come check out these changes let me know what you think. Okay, so this is a new house that is very similar to what a four square house would have looked like or should look like. And so in fixing this house, really, I'm just gonna go back to some historical details that I think would make this house a lot better. I don't think we need to introduce this arch, okay? That kind of is goofy to me. Uh, this window, okay, and then this window over here, it's, it's mate, aren't in the right place. And so I'm, I'm gonna fix, fix those pieces. But the Foursquare is a house that was built, you know, between 1890 and 1930. It was kind of a, you know, rejection of the Victorian. So it's, so it's early kind of arts and crafts and craftsmen. It's a simple style house. It's basically a box with four rooms on the first floor, four rooms in the second floor maybe one bathroom upstairs, one bathroom downstairs. They're a simple house and they were very popular probably for their simplicity and, and for some of the design elements. So I'm just gonna go back to that four square design and kind of fix some of these elements that if we can just get rid of this, this kind of little, little hat, little roof here, isn't necessary, it's not, certainly this window isn't kicking up through the roof line enough to cause the roof to actually require a pediment there. So this is kind of builder, you know, design trick, uh, you know, not a good one, where they apply, you know, details to it to give it more visual interest. And my comment would be, there's a lot of good things happening here. For instance, they got the six over one window right. They've got the kind of the simple design with the porch right. And I'm just gonna fix a few things here, and I think this house can actually be really charming. And here's where less is more, that you don't need to do some of these things they've done here to make it more interesting from the street. You can really just fix it the way it is and have a really good design. Here's where copying the past would make a big difference. So basically what I've done is, I, I'm, I'm gonna show it two different ways, but the typical four square plan had a dormer above. So instead of having that pediment, you know, a simple dormer could be added above that would kind of accomplish that look. Typically in that four square plan, the bathroom was right above that kind of stair entry place. And so you'd have a smaller window up there. So I've taken the same kind of window design, but just made it smaller, right? And so I'm not introducing a, you know, weird casement arch thing that doesn't have any place in this house. And I've, you know, made it simpler, okay? The other thing is, is I'm showing this with a box eave above and a open eave below, okay? So I think that I like an open eave on this house and so showing the decorative rafter tails I think actually looks good. So I'm showing it both ways. You could do the open rafter tails above and it really takes on a more craftsman-y prairie style look. I fixed the columns a little bit, right? I, you know, I don't like these hardy columns where they just kind of um, throw trim together to look like it's panelized. I would make these bigger. I'd probably make these from brick. I would put a cap above. There's definitely needs to be an entablature that runs across the top. I've put the pedestals here around the door to kind of highlight the fact that this is your entry or door. I've made the door bigger. This looks like a thin door. It looks like a 32 inch door. And I put like a 36 inch door to make it look better. This is a kind of a typical turn of the century 19, you know, 10, 1915 door that I put in here. Notice too, the balustrade I put across here is a, is a slat balustrade, where these are kind of the slat boards that are going across here. It's kind of a boxy, interesting look that I really like. But really, I haven't changed much, guys. I, I haven't had to do much. I did separate the windows by putting a five inch mole in between here. This kind of double hung where they where they're mold right back to back, I think looks bad. I've also deleted the the shutters. You don't have shutters, right? This, these are the screw on shutters that that don't make any sense, and so we're not going to use those, are we? And so now I've I've separated the windows. We're getting more interest, 
And, and this is a charming, cute little house. I might extend the eaves a little bit. I might go out maybe another six inches or so to kind of give it that, that weight and kind of the, the ability to take on this boxy look, but really didn't change much. There's a lot of good things here. Now, I am gonna fix this, okay? I would fix this dormer, and probably I would do a shed dormer over here with a shed roof that goes back and have a couple of little small windows in here. There's no need for an arch. This size of that dormer overpowers this garage. It looks like it's gonna fall through that garage. Notice too, there's brick on there, okay? Brick doesn't float in the middle of a roof like that. So I'd probably go back with shingles on the outside of this thing, not brick. That's goofy. That probably means those bricks are kind of tiled onto it, but it, it needs to make sense, the weight of it and everything else so that it doesn't look like it's about to fall through onto the cars, which is the way it looks now. So going with a shed dormer roof instead of the pedimented dormer would give it less you know, visual weight. And then I don't, I don't like it when the, the, the face of your window is, what is that? 40% of this entire face. And so if you've got the entire face of your dormer and I'd like to take up, you know, 80% of that face. So that's why when I put this dormer over here, I'm gonna take it up mostly with windows because it's gonna look better and you don't have a piece of, you know, window floating in a big brick face. Uh, we're gonna use more windows. It's gonna cost a little bit more, windows cost more, but you know, you're shrinking the size of it, so maybe it's a wash. Anyway, I don't know what you guys think of that, whether you like the fixes, but this is house is really close. So this is a, you know, kind of production builder house that was close, but I think going back with those historical details makes it a lot better. Okay guys, better, right? Getting the open rafter tails, what do you think of those, right? Fixing the windows, bigger overhanging eaves, just changing a few things there. That thing was really close. And so I think we made it better, but the four square should be celebrated. It is a great house design style. It's easy to do, right? It's, it's, it's a square box. And so it shouldn't be something that should be too big of a design hurdle, but just Making sure we copy the past really does make a big difference. Let me know what you think. I'm Brent Hull.